This was a mission plant church by the Pacific Southwest District, and uh, our mission really hasn't changed. It's to reach out to people and, and bring them to Jesus. In 1964, um, my family was a charter family, and my father was involved in, in different uh, leadership roles in the church. Do you know we met in the APS office a couple times? Then the parsonage, which was just up Thunderbird here, about four houses. And the Lord finally blessed us with what we have now. Dar and I started coming to St. Mark in 1972 when we moved to Phoenix. It was, we were looking for a, a Missouri Synod Church because that's what we'd come from. And the first person that I remember being friendly and oh, going and warm was Joanne Thatcher. She invited me to LWMS. We've benefited from St. Mark by becoming closer to Jesus through small group Bible studies, getting closer, making better friends with people because you have more of a connection, a family-like connection. My grandma and grandpa were charter members back in the 60s. Uh, so my mom and her brother and sister grew up here as well. My parents actually met here at St. Mark. My husband Scott and I were married at St. Mark. We were the third in our family to get married at St. Mark. My daughter was baptized here back in 2015. I moved back here to Phoenix from Ohio in 2005 after college and moved in with my grandma. And obviously she's a member here and highly encouraged me <laughs> to come check out St. Mark. Um, I was looking for a church home at the time, kind of trying to get reacquainted with the community. So I came to St. Mark and I loved Pastor Mike. Loved his sermons, got so much out of it, and also made some amazing friends. At that time, there was a young adults group that met on Sunday evenings, made some wonderful friends there that I'm still friends with. Um, all of my lasting friendships have come from St. Mark since I moved back here. But when we started here, it was just a, a wide open field. and. Uh... There's been amazing things that God has done for us and, and hopefully through us so that uh, we can continue to uh, be His place uh, where He's glorified and where uh, we grow up families and grow up people in the faith. Our God has always provided a way for us here and He will in this future too. So we're into future steps. I'm happy we're no longer stuck in first steps. I've been there a while. So these future steps include the New Fellowship Hall. And our old one has been too small since 1966. So we're ready for an addition like this. So pre please pray about this. And, and you know, our, our God can do Im immensely more than we can imagine. I'm so excited that we get to raise our daughter here at St. Mark. She loves um, Sunday school. Um, she loves all of her friends. She gets so excited, you know, asking, can we go to Sunday school now? She loves talking about Jesus and ending all of her prayers with praise Jesus. And I just am so excited for her future here at St. Mark. Please pray for God's blessing and direction in this building expansion and that uh, Everything we do here be done to His glory. Stay faithful, St. Mark.